Hello and welcome to my let's play of Star Trek Online on the PS4. I am the Big B82 and this is part 18 of my Discovery Era Science Officer. We're about to undertake another mission in the Romulan Mystery where we're going to go and investigate a long deactivated space station called the Vault. And to do so we'll have to use our shuttlecraft which is the USS uh, what do I call it? US, the USS Aeon, which is an Aeon class time ship. And for those who are not familiar with the time ship, it, it made its appearance in a this, in an episode of Voyager, where they were sent back in time. It's so similar to that. So I'm going to help on a mission, and then we're going to go and have a chin wag with Admiral Tanay, and we'll we'll get the show on the road basically. Now, I could go up and just go and talk to her. That'd probably be more prudent than going just going to go and talk to her. So let's go and talk to her. She's over here. Let's speak with Admiral today. I have new missions for you. The Romulans had a base known as the Vault that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld. But intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to retrofit Nero's ship before it disappeared, along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet intelligence believes that someone is bringing the vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Hakona system and investigate the vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. So just bear with me a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have mission. So we have to speak with Lieutenant Commander Carl De Soto. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tenet has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. 
you have a runabout fighter or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. The shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Understood. Also, Republic Intelligence will be sending one of their best with, with you on this operation, Commander Talmera. She's been fully briefed and will transport to your vessel as soon as you're ready to depart for Arcona. She's been fully briefed and will transport your vessel once you once you're ready to depart. I trust this won't be a problem, Captain. Not at all. Any questions? Is this a Section 31 operation? What? Oh, that mythical boogeyman organization? No. This is a standard Starfleet operation at the behest of Admiral Tanay and supported by Starfleet intelligence. In case you were wondering, that means that you should observe all regulations and don't start a war. Understood. Any questions? What can I expect at the vault? Board technology, Thaleron weapons like the ones used by Shinzon, cloaking mines, and heavy graviton beams? We're not entirely sure. That's why we need eyes inside. The station itself is near a micro nebula and surrounded by a tachyon detection grid. Even a cloaked ship will be able to sneak in there. You should also expect automated defenses like turrets and cannons. We haven't spotted any ships in the vicinity, fortunately. Although with Romulan cloaking, anything is possible. Any questions? What if I need support? Starfleet will make sure to have a ship or two in range for a rapid response in case of emergency. Hopefully, though, you'll be able to keep things quiet and that won't be necessary. Of course, missions rarely go exactly as planned. Any questions? No more questions. Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. Okay. So, we already have a shuttle, of course, but we can go and speak and get a free shuttle out of this. And we might as well. You know, free stuff is good. Okay, and for that, we need to speak with. Uh, Shuttle requisitions, this guy, small craft. And we get we can get a what type eight shuttle or captain shot. So we'll get a captain shot. And a type eight shuttle. Right, so our two requisitions. Of course, we're not going to be using those. We need to get the USS Aeon ready. So, to get the USS Aeon ready, you come over to this guy here, which is the six ship selections officer, and then make sure we've got the right ship back. And then we ask him to. Activate our small craft. And there we are. Let's swap this out for. Uh, let's throw some temporal anomalies at people. Because it's always fun. Okay. Right, let's make sure our crew stations are sorted. Beams at will. And 
you can fire off at that overload cascade. Okay, so. Alright, so we've already done all that, so that now we can just beam back to our ship. Is the Aeon class Aeon class Aeon class Ton vessel? Okay, and then we'll depart the system and then we call fire off, which I forgot to do in the last part. But I'm going to fire off my captain's log while we travel to Hakona. Because our corner is a long way away. So here we go. So Captain's Log, Stardate 8622.1.47. I've been ordered to report to Starbase 39 Sierra. Long range sensors have picked up activity on an old abandoned Romulan station called the Vault. I will be sent to investigate the station via shuttlecraft. First, I'd like to uh, because now I have time. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers to the channel. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying the. Hope you are enjoying the content. I, I appreciate. I appreciate all the all the uh, all the people watching, watching it back, and also I appreciate all the people uh, who come and watch it live. Um. I'm going to carry this on, of course. Um, my my Roman character is in the midpoint. I'll carry that on as well, and then um, I'll review uh, things how things go as they move along. Okay, so let's begin the vault. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense! It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Okay. Now, the, the derelict, I think, I think now, so this, the asteroid is engineering. Well, not an engineering character. The relay um, is tactical. We're science, so we need to examine the derelict ship. So, let's head over towards the derelict ship.
Yes. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently, a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Forensic examination. Although the vessel's engine core is a total loss, some of the backup computer systems were left intact. This vessel was used to deploy some of the tachyon detection satellites around the vault. There's a copy of the network algorithm in the computer memory. If we put the tachyon satellites along the final meridian into maintenance mode, we can create a gap in the detection grid that will let us slip through. Contribute the meridians. If we can get close to the base without passing through the detection grid, we should be able to put a satellite into maintenance mode. Then that will give us a gap that will allow us to slip into the station itself undetected. Approaching the tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. The satellite's in maintenance mode. We can pass through the net. Okay, let's enter the station. Picking up some unusual energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Bear with me.
But that I was dealing with. Uh, it always seems to happen when I'm on this mission. Spider. Huh. Okay. It's as though creepy coolies decide to come out and piss at me, piss about with me. Anyway. <coughs> yeah, more than prepared. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem. Code block 50 residences includes a code key, block 9904. I'm reading life signs in some of these living quarters. Interesting. That's how the inhabitants. Who? Who are you? What do you want? What are you doing here? I, I mean you no harm, I just want to talk. No harm, Starfleet. Like when you praised Ambassador, when your praised Ambassador Spock meant no harm when he fomented rebellion among your people. Like when your Captain Picard meant no harm when he killed Shinzon, the strongest leader our people have seen in a century. The Romulans are a proud and passionate people. Between great powers such as the Romulans and the Federation, conflict is inevitable because we are both are strong and stubborn. But there is room in our pride to help one another as well. I apologise. Such an outburst was unbecoming of me. You should not be here, Starfleet. Tell me what you want and then leave quickly. I need to know about the other parts of the, of the station how to access them. Very well. As far as I know this station was a research facility for various for various illicit technologies. I'm sure that what kind I'm not sure what kinds of secrets the military kept here, but some of us are scavenged up useful components or even weapons. The station has its own power supply, although many areas are dangerous or secured against intruders or under control of the Remans now. They are one of the other survivors living here said that she saw some kind of autonomous cybernetic technology closer to the station's core. I don't know what that would be, but he said it looked dangerous. Savara a doctor, said that this area was still safe for inhabitation, but further out, one of the pylons was emitting dangerous amounts of radiation. To reach the deeper parts of the station, you will need to bypass the containment force field. It uses a cynically timed security check, so if you have the key code sequence, you must synchronize your key. I have a, I have a key with the check. I have a personal override code that will bypass the synchronized check. I'll give you this data. Many elements, watch over you. I can take you with us if you wish. No. I am responsible. I have responsibilities for the, to the people here. You can't take all of us, 
and where would you take us to be questioned by your government because we would be suspected as spies we must all make our way in the universe and play the game as it unfolds Jog on true captain she's right galaxy has all the ideas for us so let's try security codes security codes. key is on a rotation each code block matches a piece of one key that's it well done we should be able to bypass the system and gain access now Microgravity storage crates, mostly construction supplies. No weapons or unusual end. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. It's all an abandoned fire. You pop up. Is it was surrounded somewhere. It said abandoned fighter. Well, no point worrying about it now. That's a Borg Sphere. The Tall Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. Yeah. That's ominous. The Borg Sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the sphere's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked.
Yeah, I didn't really stand a chance. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. Yeah. Scanning in progress. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Um, who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek, if a name is that important to you. What are you doing here? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more... curious. I expect that you are operating under the shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. I'm here to investigate unusual scanner readings from the station. Doubtless you have discovered the source of those readings. Understand that I have little desire to unleash this sort of destruction. But my hand is forced. The Riemann people will only be liberated if we are able to make a clear and decisive stand against the Romulans. The technology of this station will allow us to do so. The use of Federal weapons is deliberately provocative to the other galactic powers. I am prepared to take that risk. I strongly suspect the Federation and the Klingons will not have any desire to test our metal once all Riemann ships are armed with Thaleron weapons. Regardless, this will all be over soon enough. My plans are for liberation, not conquest. But what price is your liberation? I am not a Romulan, and I do not allow passion to rule my intellect. I understand the risks of my actions. While there will be strife and hardship in the future, at least it will be a future that the Riemann people are free to face for themselves. I will deal with the future when it arrives. For me, there is no tomorrow until my people are free. However, I respect your commitment to your position. It's a shame we are at cross purposes. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Okay, so now we need to escape this place.
Boom, boom. Tsunami for the next thing coming up. He's that fucker, my guy. Hello there, welcome to the stream. Mm, about to go boom boom, I need to take on a war bird. <laughs> Win, bitch. Blast the door locks. Warning. Ship is under attack. Supposed to find it. Warning, ship is under attack. Oh, there it was.
They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Sorry. Being a scientist is great. Just fire out bloody anomalies. And are just past that nebula. We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. USS Lassen. USS Lock. We are now in the micro nebula. Oh shit. That's what you get for being cocky. Nebula. That was quite an explosion. Probably from the Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Yes, sir. actually have to go back to we actually have to go back to the to okay to go and debrief him Rather than being cocky there at the end, which was my own fault, I mean, I should have been targeting torpedoes, I should not have gone near a Romulan war, a Deridex class warbird with a shuttlecraft. It's not, I mean, I got away with a Mogi, uh, a Mogi and, uh, and a and and a Talis, but it comes to warbirds. Yeah, when it comes to Derodex, that that was an unwise choice, and I paid for it. So let's get to Starbase 39 Sierra and then we will well first we will debrief the, the cat the good commander. Mm. Ok, 
Okay. Hi. Ah, let's go and speak with Commander Soto. Taking a preliminary look at your logs, it seems that things went a bit unexpectedly. I have a feeling this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the vault. The Riemann commander you encountered is definitely a major player in the disintegration of the Romulan Star Empire. I'm going to send the information you gathered about him over to an old colleague of mine, Dr. Maximilian Peters, for analysis. If this Riemann is a leader in their separatist movement, we'll have to deal with him again. And hopefully, Dr. Peters can work up a psychological profile for him and a sociological analysis of the separatists. Our next step will be to decode the signal intelligence and go through any remnants left from the ship that was destroyed near the vault. Now that we know that the Remans were hoping to use Thaleron weapons, we need to figure out their target location. Right now, Starfleet knows far too little about a civil war in the making, but it'll take time to sift through all of the data. Keep in touch. Starfleet will notify you when we have a lead. Oh, thanks for the good work. Let's speak with Admiral tonight. Excellent work. We need to learn more about the conflict between Obasek and the Romulans. Sela's forces may indeed be hounding the Remans, but the use of Thaleron weapons is unacceptable. Not even the Klingons or the Breen will stoop to such barbarism. Starfleet Intelligence will be working to decode the list of possible targets you acquired from the base's databanks. The next step may be to investigate these sites and find out why the Remans want to destroy them. Yes, sir. I have no wishes. Congratulations, Captain. Why would the uh, why would Obasek and the Remans want to attack the Romans? I do not know. Obasek and his people have traveled a most difficult path. After so many years of oppression and Romulan treachery, it does not surprise me that they are suspicious of anyone. The Remans gained much in the years after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but Sila is more secure in her power now, and she may believe that she no longer needs the Remans as allies. If the Romulans seek to enslave the Remans again, there will be bloodshed. I have new missions for you. Okay. She has new missions for us, but we need to go and swap out to. We need to go and swap ships. We we'll swap our ship out. We have a new captain ability as well. But that is the end of part 18, and when we return in part 19, we'll be doing a mine enemy, and we'll find out what what's the. Um, Starfleet intelligence has decoded the list. I have new. We'll find out just what Obersek is up to and quite how far he's willing to go to get freedom. Until then, on the Big BH2, please subscribe. Comments are welcome and I appreciate any thumbs up as well. And I will see you in part 19. Until then, ciao for now.